All right, chip of the day. This is an SN74LVC2G14. It's a Schmidt trigger, so it's a 7414. The 2G means it's two gates in the package, and uh, LVC is low voltage CMOS. So uh, you'd think this was a 3.3 volt part, but it actually can run up to five volts. So um, yeah, you can use this for a lot of things. So um, this is what you get. I did a, a video a while back on 7414. So if you don't know what a Schmidt trigger is, go watch my video on uh, 7414. And uh, they are great for oscillators if you have a, using a feedback and a crystal. Uh, they're great for that because they have a, a threshold. They, 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 uh, they have a hysteresis. And that's why they have the little insignia there. That's the hysteresis. And I did a video once on hysteresis, I think. <laughs> All right, so it is a cute little package. Um, it is a SOT23. Um, take a look at where the pinout though is. All these things are to have a different pinout. So VCC is on pin five, ground's on pin two, and then that allows you to have a better PC board layout. You have a, a input output, input output on the on the one six and the three four. So that is pretty cool. Now Schmidt triggers are great for um, uh, digitizing, not digitizing, but capturing edges of. Uh, signals that that maybe like a sine wave and you want to convert it into a square wave or something like that or you have a counter and you want to just take the the, the input and and trigger it so it takes the place of a comparator and so if you can get away with one of these use one of these don't use a comparator this is a much better solution so if you're if you can get it into the digital domain then use a Schmidt trigger. If you have to leave it in the analog domain, then use a comparator. But uh, these are a great item. So let's take a look at the data sheet a little bit. Uh, supply voltage range is uh, 1.65 to 5.5. All right, and it'll remember where it is all the way down to 1.5 so that there's any glitches on the v VCC, it'll still remember its state. Um, it'll do quite a bit of current. Uh, so at three volts, it'll do, um, I don't know why there's two numbers here, but uh, 16 milliamps. And uh, at uh, 4.5 volts, it's 32 milliamps. So it's a real healthy little part. So that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, anyway, uh, let's hook one up. All right, so here I have the device. I have a clock coming in and I'm flashing an LED. So input, output, that's all there is to it. All right, um, so let me show you on the scope what's going on with the Schmidt triggering. Uh, it's hard to see at, at this frequency. So let's change the, I'm using the signal generator inside this thing. Let's change the uh, frequency to one kilohertz. And this is my input and this is my output. So you can see that it's acting exactly like a comparator. When it goes up, it, 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 uh, it's an inverting thing also, right? So when it goes down to a certain amount, it, it goes to the high state. And when it goes up to a certain amount, it goes to the high state, um, uh, low state. So uh, here's a trick with an oscilloscope. If you want to see where you're triggering, just, just move, one of the, move one of the traces up and you, you can see uh, where you're firing. So on the uh, up, you're, you're firing right at that voltage and on the down, you're firing at that voltage. Um, and uh, here's another trick we can do. Let's ground both of these. Okay, so I've set, so what did I just do? I pushed the vertical location and that sets both the one channel and two channel exactly the same. All right, and now we can see where they are, where they are triggering. Let me go up. There we go, and so now uh, I'm at one volt, volt, one volt per division on both, um, and so there we see where we're firing. Now you could set up a whole bunch of measurements and figure out where that cross is and where that cross is and do a whole bunch of stuff. But if you just want to do a real quick and dirty, where am I? I do this all the time. I, I, I look at the trigger level, okay? Trigger level right now is set to 2.0, oops, 
the 2.16. Let me get rid of this stuff. So that's my trigger level right there on this oscilloscope. And if I go over to the trigger level knob, uh, which is this one, I get my trigger level, okay? And I can use that trigger level. I can go, oops, I can go right here where it's crossing, right? And I can just go read the voltage. It says 1.08 volts. Or I can go the other one. I can come up to about there. And I can say, oh, that's 1.88 volts. So without having to go into the menus and slow yourself down and everything, you can just use trigger level to do a quick measurement. So there's the tip of the day, top tip. All right, there you go. Chip of the day was a 74 LVC 14.